I've got four kids, but let's go back to like 2014 when I had three under three. So I was a really young mom and having three under three got me to a point where I was so fucking overwhelmed. I would like open my eyes in the morning and feel a sense of dread. Like, oh my God, here we go again. I absolutely do not have the energy to do this again today. I felt like all I did was react, react to my life, react to problems, relax, react to needs needing to be met. Of course, they could only be met by me because I was the only one there with the kids, like react to the kids, react to everything all day. Like it was exhausting. It was draining. It was incredibly unfulfilling. And I feel like nobody talks about that. Nobody admits that. So I carried a lot of guilt for feeling that way. It was like my days were filled with just nothing that I did was enough. Nothing was ever caught up. All I did was fucking clean up. Like I cleaned up messes. I cleaned up boogers and wiped butts and made snacks and like was basically maintaining a life that I would rather be living but felt like I couldn't live because it required so much maintenance if that makes sense. I was starting to get so much resentment towards just like everything and everyone towards my kids, which another thing no one talks about towards myself, towards my life, um, towards my husband at the time, like just everything. Like I was not happy. And again, just like trying to fake it, trying to like, Oh, savor the moments. Cause it goes by so fast. Like trying to force myself to be okay. Um, it just wasn't working. And I felt panicked. Like I'm stuck in this life and I'm so bad at this. And all I do is clean up help I don't know what to do I was turning to like mommy blogs and books and articles and anything I could get my hands on and all the advice just was like you need to get organized get organized so I would get organized and then it would all fall apart within like a week max usually like a matter of hours like it wasn't work I just literally felt like a fucking idiot like I couldn't do this well and I was a failure long story short I reached this point where I was just like okay, um, something needs to happen. Something needs to change. I am not okay. I'm absolutely depressed. I do not want my kids to feel like an inconvenience to me, but low key, uh, they kind of are right now. I just, I'm not feeling like I'm living in abundant life. Like I'm not feeling like this is it. This can't be motherhood. This just can't be it. And I was like reaching out to women that were like ahead of me in the journey. And the message that I got, like in, you know, and no certain terms was the same thing. Just like, oh yeah, oh my God, girl, I get it. Yes, but oh my God, they're so cute right now. Like just wait till they get older. It gets like so much harder. Like just wait till they're teenagers. So not only is this normal and we've all just accepted that motherhood is this like shit show of servitude and not having any time for yourself or not doing anything for yourself because that would be, you know, selfish, but it's actually going to get worse and we're all just like supposed to enjoy it and we're all like celebrating with baby showers when somebody gets pregnant. Like this is a disaster. This is fucking awful. Like I, why is anyone signing up for this? I was so panicked. I just felt like I was the only one being real about what I was experiencing. Um, and I was starting to really have like fear and regrets and like just feel super lost. So I get to this point this day where I'm just like, I'm done with this. I don't want to feel like this anymore. Like there's got to be a solution. And I had this like come to Jesus moment where I was just like, had this epiphany of like, this is going to sound dumb, but this is just what happened. It was like, a realization like I could see myself going through my days and all I fucking did was clean up I was literally like my house was in charge I we had so much shit everywhere three little babies like there was so much and I was maintaining all of it and cleaning up after the kids cleaning up all this shit that we didn't even need and I just was like all like okay so the bulk of my time is spent fucking cleaning why don't we just like get rid of all the shit that's in the way, all the shit that I'm having to maintain? Like what if there was just less stuff? I'm so overwhelmed. I'm legitimately like not happy in like being a mom because my life is too much. It's too much to clean up after. It's too much to maintain. So like what, this is like a desperate moment. Like I can't keep going like this. Let's just get rid of all the shit so that there's less to do, less to maintain. And then maybe I'll be okay. I realized this is like such a stab in the dark. Like I had no fucking idea if this was going to help, this was going to work. I was just honestly like a desperate mom needing something to change like immediately. 
And it just felt like math at this point. Like, well, if, if this is just overwhelming me and this is all I fucking do, well then like, let's just have less to do, right? It's math, A plus B equals C. At least I, that's what I was hoping. So I tried it. We had this giant playroom. I had the first grandkids on both sides of the family. So lots of gifts, lots of toys, lots of just shit that would like my kids would toddle into the playroom and I'd be like, okay, go be busy. Oh, good. Let me like catch my, catch my breath. They would come out two seconds later, bored, wanting another snack. Like they would dump all the toy bins out, toys everywhere. Like they weren't even playing with this shit. So like, what was the fucking point of having all the toys? So I just went in there and I was like, okay, I have a feeling that you guys are just like overstimulated as fuck and honestly same. So I got rid of all of the toys that were not their most favorites, that were not like teaching them to like imagine and create and play um, and like stimulating their minds in a way that felt helpful that were just like useless, noisy toys like in the way. The next morning, my kids, like my little kids, like my three-year-old daughter and my two-year-old son toddled in there and they played for like over an hour by themselves, no support. Like I didn't do anything. I had a hot cup of coffee for the first time since they were born. Like I was like, holy shit, they were overstimulated. I'm onto something. So then I was like, okay, this one room made my life easier immediately. So like what else? So I did like our wardrobes, like clothes, laundry, like I literally started having less laundry because there was less clothes. I was doing like a couple small loads a couple times a week. And yeah, like I was repeating outfits like a, like a son of a bitch, but like there was less to do. There was less to clean. Like that was all I needed. That was my goal. I did the dishes, the kitchen, like I cleared out the cabinets and like there was just less to wash, less to use. So less to do, like less coming through the cycle of my to-do list. This was years ago, like there was no like a minimalism trending. There was no like documentaries or best-selling books on this topic. Like I was just trying to figure this shit out. Fast forward, I, I don't wanna get emotional. I just wanna get to the point, so hold on. This changed my entire life. I, my depression lifted and did not come back. I started to feel like the most energized, grounded version of myself. I didn't even know I had that ability to be that way as a mom, especially of like so many kids, so little, so back to back. Like it was of course a very overwhelming thing to be in, a very overwhelming like lifestyle, but things were so much simpler. I felt like I had been duped into thinking that it needed to be this complicated, that it needed to be this overwhelming when really like there was so much that was contributing to the overwhelm that just was unnecessary. I noticed little things like we had a fairly large house and it would take me like 20 minutes to get it from like disaster to totally good, totally ready for company, completely picked up and fine. Again, like I wasn't having to do a bunch of laundry. I wasn't even having to do laundry every day, even with like a little baby in the house. Like they're just, everything was just simpler. I noticed like when, you know, the toddler would be having a meltdown and the baby would need to be changed and the other kid like needed like a snack. I just noticed that I had more mental and energetic capacity to calmly deal with things because my normal regular life, like just maintaining the place that we were, the environment we were spending our day in at the house was not having me stretch so fucking thin that like one little thing would happen and I would like lose my shit, be yelling at toddlers, like not the mom I wanted to be. Like, like I just noticed that that stopped. So it was like my foundation, like my, my basic level, my ground zero was so much more calm. I ended up becoming like this incredibly like ruthless editor of what I allowed into our space, what I allowed into our home. I just realize like what takes up your space also takes up your time and when you have little ones like you do not have the fucking time to be maintaining so much like we are so accustomed to having these big houses full of shit garages full of shit we don't need paying for storage units with more shit we don't need the consumerism the materialism like it's out of control and it's just been so normalized that i still don't think even after minimalism like i was part of the like uprising of this minimalism trend and i wrote a best-selling book about it and all these things like even after that i still don't think we realize how much our stuff is impacting us day to day and fucking with our mental health and fucking with especially the female like the mental load that mothers carry is completely out of control if you want to stress less and simplify your life, get rid of your shit.